Hey guys, so here we are back with um, lesson number two. And um, in the comment section on the first video, someone asked me to um, kind of showcase some of the art that I've done with Sketchbook Pro, um, just so you can have an idea of some of the things that you'll be able to do. So I'm just going to run through a, a few photos real quick, and then um, and then we're going to start. Okay, so this one is one that I actually started on paper first. I did a complete uh, sketch of this um this dragon and then i actually used um no i did this drawing on my big tablet my samsung tablet but um i did uh sorry i did um this drawing on paper first and then i um used the camera on the back and took a picture of it brought it into a sketchbook and then did all the coloring and a bunch of stuff so it <laughs> it, it took a while to do this drawing but um but yeah so this is something uh one of the drawings that I've that I did with uh, with Sketchbook Pro. This is another one I did. Um, I don't know how good you can really see this because of the way the uh, the camera's picking up from this angle. But regardless, um, I think you can still see it well enough. But this is one of the, another drawing that I did. Um, I'm just gonna keep going through these. Uh, this is another one. This was another one. I don't know necessarily if it's if I'm finished with it, but it's it's there. <laughs> More cartoony style. This is kind of comic bookish. Uh, this was a person that I knew. Um, I did a drawing of them. Blah blah blah. <laughs> anyway, um, but yes, all this was done in Sketchbook Pro. Um, the sketch I did, I started with on paper first, and then I brought it in and did all the coloring. Um, this one was done completely in Sketchbook Pro, so I didn't use any paper for this one. Um, same as this one. I just did a regular... Um, I, I used the airbrush tool for this, um, pretty much the entire thing, except for like the sharp parts. I used the pencil tool like for her hair and, and stuff, but pretty much the airbrush tool can be used um, to do a drawing like this. Um, same as this. Um, this one too. Um, I think I started this one on paper and then brought it in and, and then I did a lot. So this was all in all, this may have been like a 10 hour, um, drawing. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was about, it was around that, that time frame. It's another one. These are more, these are kind of more comic book style characters. Well, obviously, but I mean the style. So this one I did completely in, um, Sketchbook Pro. I used my uh, Samsung tablet, uh, my big Samsung tablet, 10.1 inch, to do this one. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this one because it uh, it turned out really nice. I really liked how the uh, the necklace. Um, I'm sorry about that. How the necklace turned out on her neck. Okay. And I think most of you have seen this one. Um, if you're following me from the Google Plus page, then uh, then yes, then you guys have seen this one already. Uh, this one got in here twice, and then there's this one again. <laughs> I think I posted this one. If not, then yeah. But all of this was done in Sketchbook Pro. All of the reflection and lighting on his um, helmet, like reflected in the glass, um, even the blur effects, all of this was done in Sketchbook Pro. All right, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, let's see, do I have anything else open? No. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start up uh, Sketchbook Pro and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to work on today is we're going to start off with just a simple sketch and then I'm going to show you how to do some, uh, um, putting some um, texture behind it, um, shadowing mostly. Um, Anyway, but let's go ahead and get started. So, what we're going to be using um, is our uh, uh, pencil tool right here. I hope you guys can see this. It looks a little blurry on the camera, but hopefully you can see it. So anyway, we're going to start with the pencil tool. We're going to use, um, let's start off with uh, black, obviously. But you know what, I think for our pencil tool, we're going to go ahead and use a, let me see, let's get a 2B. Okay, so we're going to be using a 2B pencil to start with. And we're just going to make 
this little small adjustment. For those of you who were just now seeing this video, um, if you were wondering how to use any of these, um, like the interface or anything, just watch the, uh, the very first video and it will um, explain exactly um, pretty much all the tools that are in here. Okay, so let's see, we have, okay. <laughs> it's always just habit for me to do that just to make sure everything's looking the way I want it. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up an extra layer and you'll see why a little bit later. Okay, so here we go, let's start. And if you guys I, if you guys want to follow along with this particular drawing, then feel free. If you just wanna just kinda just see how it's done and then do your own drawing, that's fine too. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start now. So we're just gonna start with a very small, just a little sketch, just a couple of lines. Don't worry if your uh, hand slips. My hand slips all the time. It's slipping a lot today though because of this awkward setup I have, so. <laughs> but anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and just kinda make a sloppy circle. But we're gonna turn it into something pretty cool. Okay, so hopefully you have that. <laughs> and I'm trying to go, not go too fast. So yeah, right now we, we just actually did the head, obviously, and now we're going to do some kind of neck. Let's just bring these lines down here and connect them. Okay, now right in here we're going to put some bones for where um, the neck, those little bones that you got right there in your neck. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to put them right here, and some right down in there. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you guys something. This is kind of important. This other layer that we have back here, I want you to, if you created this layer, I want you to tap and hold, okay, and drag it down. So, again, tap and drag down. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to put some uh, just kind of basic shapes in here, and you'll see why. So kind of make, almost like you're trying to make the top of like an oatmeal um, jar or box or something. Okay, so put that in there. Now, if a lot of you have taken basic art class, then you'll know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to put this... Oops. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that like that, and just come on down. Now I'm going to show you, I mean, a lot of people do this, but you don't, you won't need to do this every single time. A lot of people do, but you, you really won't need to. Okay, so now after you've done that, I want you to drop the opacity on it to about... 50%. Just so you can tell that it's separated. So this in here is lighter than all of this, just so we can kind of tell. Okay, and now I want you to do the same thing, well, part of the same thing, right here in the neck. Okay? Okay, so now, um, Okay, so if you went ahead and you put these, uh, this piece right here, this piece here, and then this piece down in here, now what I want you to do is to come right here and just draw a quick little line just like that. And then move up maybe about an inch or so. And then do another one right here. And then I want you to come up from here about up to right, right here. And just kind of make kind of like a little archway. Just like that. And then do it again on the same, on the other side. Okay, 
now the reason why I'm doing that, well, you can probably tell, <laughs> it looks like a uh, it looks like a face. So if you want, you can you can go a step further, and you can actually go ahead and just put little circles there for where the eyes will be. Okay. So now I want you to go back to your layer section. So I'll do that again. Click here on the middle. Go up here. Okay. Now you should be on this layer, but what I want you to do, that's the layer we just did everything on. But what I want you to do now is to click here on the top layer. Now see the top layer is what we originally started with. Okay. So what I want you to do now is like I said, click on that and come back and make sure you still have your pencil tool. Okay, we do a 2P pencil. Okay, now zoom in a little bit and we're gonna zoom in right here on the mouth. Now, what I want you to do is to just start drawing the mouth. So we're gonna do the top lip first and cut it off about right here there so you have just a little I don't know how well you can see that but anyway cut it off about right there this one kind of round it just a little bit and then draw a line hopefully you guys can see that draw a line go up a little a little slant to it and then come back down and then come on over and then connect it now Come down here, and then come back up, like so. Okay, now it should look like that. Now, come back up here again, just a little bit. Okay, so it should look something like that. <laughs> it's a funky little person. They have some really big lips. Okay. So now that you did that, now I want you to come over here. About right there. And start a line coming down. And right there. Just kind of curve it. Just like that. And then come on the same. The other side. <laughs> and curve it down. Just like so and then just bend those a little bit more. Okay, now, um, what I want you to do is come here. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Sorry about all the notifications I'm getting, but that's what happens when you're using electronics <laughs> okay um now what I want you to do is imagine a line from about right here to about right there so about right under where the eyebrow will be go ahead and just make a shape like this Just like that. And then come back over here, about the same thing. Now, this one is smaller, and it's because of the, the, uh, the angle that this person is turned at. So it would be smaller. Okay, now what I want you to do is to come in here, and now we're going to draw that eye in. It's not exactly going to be lined up right where we originally put it, but that was just so we kind of had an idea of where we wanted it. Okay, and come on over to the next one. Put that little little part in there. Okay. So we are coming along. <laughs> Now, what I want you to do is come over here, and we're going to draw an ear, like so. 
Now, when you you see how I keep doing like a bunch of lines over like the same spot, um, if you do that, it helps you become more comfortable with um, holding the pin. So therefore, later on, you'll just be able just to do like one streak, and you won't have to like keep doing that. But that's just to help you get used to using your your pin. Okay. All right. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split this video into two. Um, and so this will be part one, and then we're going to jump into part two. And in part two, we're going to start uh, reshaping the head along with the neck, and then also we're going to add some eyelashes and a bunch of other cool fun stuff. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the second part.